So, good morning everyone. Finally the roof is on the new building, on the new farm building. How you can see behind me is finally the roof on. I have bring my chickens and my quail, my baby quail, my baby chickens up here. How I said in the last video, I has a lot of male quail on the big ones so I give three away one white one and two brown ones I give them to one friend of mine so because they was all the time fighting inside and <laughs> they don't let the females alone and <laughs> you understand what I mean so I finally am ready I need only the doors or the others ready I must put only doors and yeah there I'm ready I saw the last video I have in the incubator uh, fasan eggs I've put and some chicken eggs inside to have more chickens for me and one friend of mine give them to me it's a uh, different kind of chickens it's very small ones bigger ones black brown all the colors uh, we say to put in uh, ducks eggs inside but the duck need 28 days the normal duck <laughs> need 28 days because some ducks need 32 what we have here in my country and yeah father eggs need only 24 days 23 24 days so it was not okay to put them together so how you see I have the roof on you see I have white ones and red ones there where the white ones are I will put a uh, solar panels so that I have uh, electricity here why I choose the white ones because the white don't get heated up from the sun the red ones I mean, now it's 9.43 in the morning when I put my hands on the red one I will burn them the white ones is cold ones <laughs> don't have problem with the sun when you put a solar panel and it's heating up below you can have problem or fire so that's why I put the white ones that the panel don't heat up from the sun and I don't risk to start a fire here because everything is at the moment dry how you can see and my greenhouses have a nylon film one plastic film on them and believe me when this starts fire don't stop so uh, just a moment I go up there just want to turn the camera and go up there to show you the view from above just a moment to turn the camera so just a moment to get up there how uh, you see the white ones because the sun is all the time of this side uh, look a nice view from up here <laughs> my olive trees below of this side and my olive trees of this side my car my old car what I have here to come up to the farm because I don't want bring the jeep up here because it's a lot of dust and get dirty all the time so even below I have nice view the mountains behind, all the time over there have sheep, but today morning I don't see them. The Mediterranean Sea down there. So, just want to get a gun down because it's. <coughs> so, let's go inside to show you the quail and the little chickens. Here are the big quail from the other videos what I have made before. I have given them. Honey melon, the low of them. I see I have three eggs. One here, one there, and one there. I've put them automatically watering. So they have water all the time. I've put a big container up here. It's about 40 liters of water. 
So let's go to the chickens. <laughs> they eat the honey melon. They are my little chickens. They are about 25 days old, almost a month old. <laughs> they have very nice color. Black with white spot. You can see it in this one here front of my this one. And over here I have the baby quail who hatched together with the chickens. It's 20 of them. I have two gold ones. It's one there and one here. <laughs> I love them. I love these little animals. So my honey melons, what I bring from my greenhouses. So, how you have seen? My chickens, my quail, and the baby quail. Now I will collect the eggs and drive down to the village. My father wait of me to drink coffee to see what else he has to do. Because now it's in the middle of the summer and we empty the two greenhouses. We plot them and put a plastic film inside to burn the seeds of the grass and the weeds whatever uh, come out so that we don't have it in the winter time when we put our <coughs> zucchini and cucumbers and whatever we've put so just a moment to show you the inside yes, we have closed the windows so it have a big heat in the inside so just want to turn again the camera so are you see they had put this plastic foil in all the greenhouse so that we burn the seeds of the grass and the weeds, whatever come inside down and you see it's going very down, down, down the greenhouses, it's more greenhouses houses of the other side almost all of them is the same have you seen? We have this plastic foil inside, how I say. A lot of work. In a couple of days, we finish even with the honey melons. I will show you, I will drive down with the car because the other ones of the other side where the honey melons are. And we will put there this plastic foil too for the weeds. So, have you seen? It's almost ready, the farm building. I need the doors. I don't know when I will fix them. I don't have predators up here, so I don't be afraid that somebody eat my chickens and my quail. So, I don't know. Maybe I will fix it in a couple of days, maybe in a couple of weeks. You see, everything is ready. I must bring the sun this sun panels to collect for electricity it's expensive <laughs> i must see how i will do it i will put the solar panels up there the batteries in the small building and whatever it's need lights inside automatically open the doors that i don't need to come up here all the time to open the doors at the chickens and the ducks and whatever else I will bring up here come out because I won't delay the run free in the whole property eat the snails, eat worms, whatever you can find to eat I have the goji berries, I have the dragon fruit up down there I will bring uh, three trees of mango I think maybe papaya, I'm not sure I had papaya before a couple of years over there in this field it was a small greenhouse where I had papaya inside because in the winter it's, it's a little bit strange up here maybe papaya don't survive but mango survive up here because somebody have a couple miles, miles from here up have my uh, mango trees 
So, this for this video. I hope you like my video and give me a thumbs up and leave a nice comment below. Uh, it will come in video next. Uh, I think it will be a fishing video. I will talk about a giveaway because it's come time to give something to you because you helped me all this time. Watch my videos, give me nice uh, comments, likes, a couple shares I see. Thank you for this. So, I hope you like this video and hopefully I see you in my next video. So, goodbye, have a nice day and stay healthy. Bye. So, I'm the, in the greenhouse with the hunting melon in one of the greenhouses. How we, you see here, hunting melons everywhere. A lot of weeds because it's the sec how I say that's why you put the uh, plastic foil, but we don't have this. Another one here, you look how big it is, <laughs> almost like my head. Big, big ones. This is one of the greenhouses, so let's go <laughs> very far up. Of the other side, we have another greenhouse with honey melons. Yes, three ones, three big ones with honey melons. There. How you see, everywhere, hunting melons, they are still not ripe, in a couple of days. Oh, <laughs> this is one big, this is like my head, <laughs> very big one. Over here, more ones, here, in the inside, of this side, everywhere, hunting melons. I love them. <laughs> And my chickens and my ducks and the quail love them too. So, this for this video. How I say, have a nice day and stay healthy. Goodbye.